Pig Book did a study and they showed that these are the benefits that come from storytelling, not just reading a book like Teresa said. The first one where it says develop communication. I ask a question, what is a loom? Rachel had to communicate back to me what that was. A lot of times when we're talking about in a story that we can ask a question where children have to talk is a great way for them to come up with new words. As we read different books, one of the great things about reading books is that we say words that we don't normally say in our normal day language. And so as we're reading stories, they're learning new vocabulary, learning how to communicate. Another one that we're going to really talk about is that it's a springboard to read. Reading. As I use this story, the one thing that we do is we can create another story. If I said, silly Lauren went to town walking backwards upside down on the way she saw a, a cow, silly cow, it was eating some grass. Okay, that's what we cause, call cause and effect. And that's how children start to tell the story. It actually means they're pretty smart when you think about it. Is they saw a cow, it was eating some grass, okay? And that is what they first do. As they get older, they actually move to more of the cause and effect adding to rhyming. Remember, and this is really good for young parents to remember, is rhyming is a learned literacy behavior. It takes practice, and the more we hear those rhymes, the more they can learn. But when they're telling their own stories, they're having to think of cause and effect, and on top of that, rhyme, and that's pretty hard. Okay, silly Melanie went to town, walking backwards, upside down, on the way she saw a cat. A cat, silly cat, it wore a hat. Thank you for an easy word. Um, and that is the next step. It actually had some comprehension, the cause and effect, and then it rhymed. That's what you're going to look for with children. This story is so fun with that springboard to reading because it helps children think about what comes next, what could happen after that. So that's the springboard to reading. When it comes to giving something to do in the car, we sing this song a lot with my children. Now, my kids are pretty spread out, and so when my daughter loved playing this game, her older brother thought it was pretty silly, and he didn't really like to participate. But it was interesting that as we were trying to come looking out the window, seeing different things, he was our best rhymer. He could come up with some pretty incredible things. Using our imagination, yes. A springboard to reading, yes. The another thing, it's bonding. As I've done this with my grandchildren, it's really funny, is I have a grandson that's a pretty serious little gentleman. And one night we were walking home, we went on a walk, and all of a sudden, Grandma, hold me, hold me, I'm tired. Well, he's too big for me to hold. And so I started singing this song. Silly Reese went to town. He's like, I am not silly, Grandma. So then it was, handsome Reese, don't use my name. Okay, so then I had to be silly. Grandma went to town, and then, but he was the one that was coming up with the stories. And so, actually, it's a story that now I've pa used with my own children. I'm passing it on to my other kids. Um, one thing develops muscle coordination. Dancing the jig, leapfrog, that's hard. But as a story, your children can be doing that with you. We know that children are sensory um, learners. The more they use their sensor, their sensors, their senses, like um, feeling, touching, hearing, those kind of things, they're better learners. Okay, so there's so many benefits to um, storytelling. Nourishes the mind, gives us something to think about. I remember teaching this class um, years ago in a school, and I was actually in a history class, and it just said. History is somebody's story. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? Another benefit um, that Scholastic found with storytelling is that it solves problems in a safe environment. We can tell a story to solve problems. Now, as we think of the benefits, and you think of how I told Silly Sally, we solved a problem, didn't we? We helped her get to town walking backwards upside down. There are some more maybe serious stories that we can tell to help children understand life.